Doctor Who, Planet of the Daleks, the 18th story of the third Doctor. It's written by Terry Nation and starring John Pertwee and Katie Manning. The story was changed to Destination Daleks but got changed back to Planet of the Daleks. The story begins with the end of Frontier in Space. So after the Doctor sends a distress signal to the Time Lords, he's really sick. So Joe helped him to get to the sick bay. The Doctor gets Joe to record herself on a tape about what's happening. While the Doctor is sleeping and frozen, the TARDIS landed in the jungle planet, Spyridon. Joe decides to go out to find some help. So the plants spray sap on the TARDIS and Joe. So then she found a, a spacecraft, so she went inside and found a corpse in there. Pretty scary. Meanwhile, the Doctor woke up wondering where Joe went. He realises that the automatic oxygen supply is switched on. Even though the outside is breathable, the Doctor uses emergency supply to try to get the door open, but struggling. Two Thals, Taran and Weber have found Joe. They introduce each other, they think Earth doesn't exist. So Joe tell them about the Doctor, so they put Joe inside the cupboard and left with Codal following them to find the Doctor. We get a scary scene where the invisible creature is in the base where Joe is. The three Thals dig the saps to get the Doctor out. The Doctor recognised the Thals after the events of the first Dalek story. Taran sprayed the Doctor because he might be covered in fungus and carried by the sap. And if he wasn't treated, it would be all over his body and killed him. We learn that there are seven Thals. One of them is killed, but the other three have been lost somewhere. Which means there's three left now. So the Doctor and Thal spray to see what they're up against, and it reveals to be Daleks. <laughs> Pretty effective scene there. The Doctor realises that Dalek is deactivated, however he advised Thals not to touch because the signal might still be alive. Jo seems to be dying with the infection on her arm, and there's Spyridon coming after her. While Taran and Kodal are searching around, the Doctor asks Vapor about Taran's lead and why he disagrees with them. They haven't been getting along. So after a tentacle plant grabbed Vapor, the Doctor got a knife and cut it. The other two Thals came back to see what was going on. Kodal decides to lead the Spyridons off, but he gets grabbed and got hit on the head with a stick. The Doctor, Taran and Weber came back to their spacecraft, but the Daleks came and about to exterminate it. But the Doctor protests because he thinks Joe is still in there. But the Daleks decide to stun the Doctor. Somebody's still in there. Save for interrogation. Disabled. Ah! After the Daleks destroyed the spacecraft, they took the Doctor with them to the base and locked the Doctor in the cell with Kodal. I like the moments when they're talking about courage while they're finding a way to escape. A Spyridon called Wester, a good Spyridon, pours some red liquid on Joe's arm to cure her. So after Joe rests, he explains to Joe about the planet and the Daleks. Because Taran wouldn't listen to Weber, he pointed a gun at him to give him the explosive as he wants to attack the Daleks now. But there was another spacecraft arriving, the three Thals who are missing revealed to be alive. Rebek warns Taran that there are 10,000 Daleks. Uh-oh. Well, somewhere on this planet there are 10,000 Daleks. Part 3 had been existed as black and white for years, so they used combination of computer colorization by legend films with software developed by the Color Recovery Working Group to restore the color in 2008 and got released on DVD in 2009. So while Joe and Wester are seeing what the Daleks are up to, as apparently they're using Spyridons as slaves, the Doctor and Kodal figure out how to get themselves out. As the Dalek arrived, the Doctor placed a tape on the Dalek which gave it a brainstorm and deactivated it. Sadly only worked once, but the Doctor and Kodal are out of the cell. I enjoyed the scene where they use the lift and keep getting away from the Daleks. It makes it so intense and realistic to remind us how dangerous the Daleks are and that we want to keep away from them. While the Doctor and Kodal found a floor, Joe went in the wheelbarrow taking cover and ended up in the Dalek control room. Seems pretty dangerous. Taran explains about the ice volcano, so him, Rebek and Marit went through the shaft. The Doctor got them out before the Daleks came and the ice liquid spilled on them. Marit brought the Doctors and other Thals time by trying to hold the Daleks off but he gets exterminated. <laughs> so the Doctor and Thals are in the cooling chamber. 
The doctor sees 10,000 Daleks outside. They figure out they use a plastic foil and rope to lift themselves up the cooling shaft. Rebek is worrying that it's not working while the Daleks are breaking in. This is really suspense. Again, I love John Pertwee as the third doctor. To those who's wondering who's my favourite classic doctor, it's definitely John Pertwee. I love his style, betrayal, era, stories, chemistry and everything. And of course, all doctors are brilliant. There's not a single one that I dislike. I love Katie Manning as Joe Grant, very independent and likeable. John and Katie have great chemistry together, which is one of the best things about this era. I like the Dalek designs, the voices are really cool, and I thought the Supreme Dalek design looks pretty cool as well. It was part of a prop from Dalek's Invasion Earth 2150 AD film starring Peter Cushion. They replaced the eyepiece with a torch. Ray Skelton played Wester, the only Spyridon who's on good side and helped Joe. Spyridon, aka Zalaria, are the invisible humanoids from the planet Spyridon and being enslaved by the Daleks. I thought they're great creatures. Bernard Horsfall played Taran, who's in charge of a Thal group after the commander was killed. Tim Priest played Kodal, a member of the Thal who has been terrified but used courage to help. Prentice Hancock played Vapor, a Thal who disagrees with Taran and wanted to blow up the Daleks straight away. Jane Howe played Rebek, a Thal who's been loved by Taran. Alan Tucker played Latip, a Thal who's very fond with Joe. Larry Minster played Morat, a Thal who got exterminated while covering the Doctor, Taran, Kodal and Rebek. The casts did an amazing job. There's great chemistries from everyone here. The sets, effects and music by Dudley Simpson is pretty sweet. So luckily, lifting through the cooling shaft has worked just in time and out of the Dalek's blaster range. So by the time they're close to the top, the corner of the plastic foil snapped and the Doctor grabbed hold of the shaft. It's so intense when the Dalek is coming up below him, but thankfully the Doctor's pulled up in time and the rocks fell on the Dalek, sending it down. Joe managed to get out of the Dalek's control room. As she's deactivating the bombs, a rock fell on her head, knocking her out for a bit. Just before she tried to deactivate the last one, so she woke up, carried two explosives and a couple of the Dalek blow themselves up. Taran wasn't happy about Rebek being there because he loved her and not only taking the Daleks down is the only mission but also keep Rebek safe. So Joe finally reunited with the Doctor as they have a bit of a catch up they find places to sleep and I love the bit where Joe tells Latip about the handshake. Taran and Vapor have a bit of an argument and fight. Taran threatened to kill Vapor as he's in charge so later on he left a letter and took two explosives. So Taran and Kodal went after him. It's so scary when there's quite a few eyes in the dock because it seemed pretty dangerous. Vapor got captured by Spyridons and one of them said take him to the Daleks. So Rebek uses her blasters on those creatures but they weren't scared for long and lost her ammo. So Taran and Kodal jumped on Spyridons and disguised themselves as Spyridons. Daleks ordered Vapor to lead them to others but he refuses so he tried to escape but the Daleks exterminated him. So Taran and Kodal got both explosives. The Doctor met Wester, warning everyone about the bacteria. So Joe and Latter ran through the jungle, but followed by the Daleks, and there's great battle here. The Doctor and three Thals pushed the Daleks into the ice water, which deactivated them. So the Doctor, Taran and Kodal disguised themselves as Spyridons, and Rebek goes inside a Dalek to get into the base, like what Ian did in the first Dalek story. They discover Wester releasing bacteria and sacrificed himself and bizarre that his face appeared. As the Doctor and the Thals were moving, the Daleks saw Thal's boots and realized they're imposters and sounded the alarm. Really intense there. So they managed to get away, which is lucky. Joe and Latub sees the Dalek saucer landing and Supreme Dalek came out. After the discussion about going home, they go down to the cooling shaft. Because the Dalek has failed to exterminate the Doctor and Thals, Supreme Dalek exterminated a Dalek. <laughs> The Supreme Council does not accept failure! The Doctor, Taran, Kodal and Rebek kept the Daleks outside the room. Latter threw the explosive at the Daleks and got destroyed. After the Doctor thinks he failed by blowing up a wall, the ice volcano fell into the area full of Daleks, so everyone got out. They said goodbye. Latter wanted to take Joe with him, but Joe said no, as she's got Earth to live in. So all Thals went inside, the Dalek saucer flew away, 
We get a great ending when the Doctor and Joe outrun the Supreme Dalek and made it to the TARDIS. Supreme Dalek exterminated the TARDIS as it dematerialized. Supreme Dalek said the Daleks have been delayed but will never be defeated. The Doctor showed Joe the planet Scarrow on the scanner, but Joe switched it to Earth because she wanted to go home. So, that's Planet of the Daleks, and I really love it. It is my top five favourite classic stories. What did you think of this story? Drop your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks people, as always, for watching, and see you in the next video.